why people wonder shall never end. According to what we are hearing allegedly, they said only of Fife was in disbelief. He couldn't believe it as until Buddha launched her first attack on him after giving her a settlement check that uh, she rejected. For the interest of those who have not watched the previous video, they said uh, Auntie Aguida had been asking Kabiesi to give her uh, half of Ojajamo for settlement since she, he doesn't want her to be in his palace again. That she have sacrificed a lot to lose completely. You know, initially she said that it's over her pie body that she will allow Queen Naomi to return back to the palace. But everyone thought she was just making an empty promise. They never know she is. She came prepared. <laughs> they say she came prepared. But it's like KBSC is also prepared for her. Because they said KBSC called her and uh, she was like, uh, why, why is she? Why is KBSC calling uh, her? Because she's no longer in the palace from what we heard allegedly. That what has been happening to her have not allowed her to be in the palace. So she's outside the palace. When KBSC called her, she came to the palace to come and meet with KBSC. And they said the funny part of her problem is that if KBSC call her into the palace, nothing will happen to her. If she come to the palace on her own, she will start experiencing that same problem. So when KBSC called her, she came there and noticed that uh, the members of the family, they were all there. She was surprised, but she had to keep quiet and listen to what, why they called her. They said KBSC uh, appreciated for her for all her support and all of that and gave her a list that contains all the money that she have given to KBSC with the date. And after which they said a check was handed over to her. And that check contains times two or times three of all that she have contributed to KBSC's project. And they say she breaks down in tears such that they, she even slumped. And when she wake up, she rejected the check. And ever since then, she had been begging people to go and talk to KBSC on her behalf. They said, KBSC uh, said no. As a lot of people refused to go and talk to KBSC because they all they have been hearing what has been going on in the palace, how they are not allowing KBSC to drink water and keep cup and all of that. So, KBSC uh, 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 thought that it was over all my people. They said at some point, a lot of people said she was saying that she is going to uh, show KBSC. That she knows what she will do and KBSC will run back to her pleading that she is going to, hey, my people, they say she made empty threat because to me it's an empty threat. But at some point, I don't know if it is an empty threat again or not. Then, they say a few days after this event happens, now we are hearing that uh, on one of these occasions, KBSC came back to the palace very late. They said he was weak. The day has been a very busy day for him. So he went inside his chambers, and remember, they said his chamber is only his fingerprint or that of Queen Naomi that can open his finger, uh, his door, as into his own chamber. Then he entered his chamber and took his bath and was ready to lie down to rest, only to notice that, uh, the, okay, some people said he have slept for some minutes, uh, while others are saying that he wanted to sleep when he noticed that Antigui was inside in his uh, chambers. He was shot such that he started calling the security. How did she got into the into his chambers? What happened and all of that? My people, they said nobody can give account of how she entered that place. And to top it all, she disappeared. <laughs> that was why I said that she have launched her first attack after promising KBAC that she is going to deal with him, my people. Hey, allegedly, allegedly, always remember. They said she disappeared such that the people that KBAC invited, they did not see anything. And they were they, they told KBAC that, you know, that you, you are tired, you know, it might be an illusion, you know. KBAC was saying that he is very sure of what he saw. But you know that in, in, in this, uh, our adage, they will say, one, a snake seen by one person is almost a python. It's always a, a python. So, and for the fact, there is no other person that saw her in the chambers. None of them believed KBAC, you know? So, and they said, as if that was not enough, KBAC was like, what, what is this? Why is it that nobody can see her and everything? Then, after that, she wanted to, he wanted to lie down again and sleep. They said, she appeared the second time. 
I was telling Kabi you see, that you must pay attention to her, that you must give her a listening ear, that you they must discuss. And Kabi you see, was they say Kabi you see, was frightened though, and this discuss they must uh, that Kabi you see, must give her a listening ear has been the problem they are having physically or before this particular event took place. They said she had been trying to have a discussion with KBSC, but KBSC already know that the major reason for her discussion would be for KBSC to allow her to come to the palace and do the ritual so that she will be free. So even if she's going to leave the marriage so that she will be free, but KBSC is not giving her that listening ear. So that was why they said she disappeared. She appeared into KBSC's chamber the second time and was telling KBSC that you must pay attention to her. You must give her a listening ear. That you, you cannot use her and dump her. This and that. They said, no, be smart, you know. Then they said, when it was morning, KBSC managed to grab his uh, protective charm and hang on his neck. That was when they said she now disappeared, the last one. I don't know if KBSC slept on that uh, protective charm that he did not see her again. The story did not tell us what happened after that. Then it was the next morning. KBSC was surprised. Everyone was. They started making inquiries, investigations and all of that. Such that... Uh, they advised KBS that he should check because at some point they say KBS was uh, arrested the guards and was telling them that they cannot be here and not tell how she was able to enter the place. But KBS on the other side shouldn't have arrested the guards, seen with his eyes that she appeared and disappeared. You know, that is if this information is true because I will always remind you that these are all alleged information. So they said when it was the uh, morning, they have to uh, the, the the security guard have to check the CCTV camera that, that was mounted there, and behold, there was nothing there. They couldn't stress uh, how she entered or how she did not enter. But I used to think that even CCTV camera sometimes captures this uh, uh, ghost. Them, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But they said that there is nothing like nobody it was not traceable through the, that the cctv camera then how did she enter i don't know maybe it was the same uncle of hers because we heard that there was this uncle of uh, hers who happens to be a babalawo who have been giving her all the powers that she have been using to manipulate people and situation in the palace maybe uh, it was the uncle who gave her the power of appearing and disappearing and they said kbsc went and the uh, got the uncle arrested that right now that the uncle is on <laughs> in a detention my people wonder shall never end though wonder shall never end when i hear this one i said now nah, wow this life ain't eh, no balance at all and all of these men who push kbc into marrying all of these women i wonder what they will be doing right now although some of them their mission is to put kbc in this kind of condition so that he will be distracted from doing the main reason why he was called upon that throne. But I believe that God will see him through. As long as Queen Naomi and Prester Denikawa is involved, God is going to see him through and win all of this battle for him. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always remember that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell and share my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support for me. Bye for now. I love you guys.